Guys! What's up? I hope you weren't wearing headphones, because that sounds like it'd be pretty loud on the headphones. It's me here, got another Warcraft 3 game, and then you know me, I just gotta do the standard, because nothing's too good for my videos. Overlays up. Put the microphone away from my mouth. No lag. Ah, oh, that's good. Mouse capture, there we go. Alright, we got ourselves here another game, and let's just get right down to it. First off, uh, these names are blocked out, so it's hard to see who is the observer. Alright, let's get right down to it. Spawning as the gray undead, we have Lucifer. And his opponent, spawning as the pink orc. As we know, orcs are fabulous. We have Soso. Orc versus Undead here on Echo Isles. And it looks like our Orc player is going to open up the standard Blade Master Grunt build. And he will not be fast teching as he did build that barracks. And let's look at our Undead buddy. No graveyard, so it looks like we will see a ghoul build. Maybe switch up the fiends later on. Shop going down, Acolyte Scout moving out as he did build that extra Acolyte. And let's see if I know Warcraft 3 as well as I do. I do. I knew it'd be a Blade Master. And a Death Knight for the Undead. Alright, standard, standard. Echo Isles is pretty a small map. Two expansion spots here and here. But this map's been on the pool for quite some time, so I think we pretty much know how this map works. I think I can turn this up just a little bit, just for your amusement. I, 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 I feel safer with this. Okay. All right, Thendis, you're done messing with the volume. All right. Acolyte's gonna see everything. Not much to see. One peon goes in the burrow because he's very racist towards acolytes. That is one racist peon. Speaking of peons, just taking a stroll. Uh, he's uh, taking a stroll. He's taking a stroll. And it looks like we're going to have a shop be built in the middle of the map, which means he plans on harassing quite a bit. And Undead versus Orc. Orc definitely has the advantage in the early game. Meanwhile, it looks like the Undead player is going to harass himself. Got himself a Rod of Necromancy. It looks like he's going to try to get a creep jack. Oh, looks like the Blade Master. Oh, I thought he was going to pick off the Magi. When both players decide to harass, that usually means none of them are going to get too many kills. But the Blade Master is going to try to pick off the Ogre Warrior. Hopes he gets a Circle of Nobility. Meanwhile, Death Knight killed himself a critter, and that critter turns into two big human skeletons. And Blade Master does get a Circle of Nobility. A very nice pickup. That is always a nice item to have early on in the game. Meanwhile, Ogre Magi on the Orc side going to be taken out. Let's see what he dropped. He dropped a Gloves of Haste. Well, that also would have been a pretty decent Blade Master item. A player's forces are I guess it's okay on a Death Knight. I'd probably keep it for the Lich when he has Orb of Corruption. Alright, looks like some peons gonna get in the burrow, try to stop his defense. Undead has found this base. Will he spend the time trying to kill it? Yeah, he's doing a little stutter micro here. Meanwhile, Blade Master's just sitting around. It looks like he's gonna try to kill himself an Ogre Magi. Let's see what item he gets from this. He gets another Circle of Nobility. Double circle of that blade master is getting beefier and beefier, and he's not even at level two yet. A player's forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. Oh, skeleton, just making sure the magi is not getting taken out and hiding from this grunt. Pink grunts are scary. Oh, I forgot to check the tech. Looks like both players are actually pretty even on tech. Now against undead, you usually don't get any casters because destroyers. So usually you see double beast areas and you pump out raiders and kodos. 
Death Knight gonna try to creep this out. I'm not sure how well he can do that. Maybe with this fiend here to help. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I'm Blade Master found one of the fiends, so now he knows what's happening here. He found another. Alright, here we go. We kinda have a creep jack. Blade Master hits level two. Gonna get himself that critical strike. And there it goes. Alright, one skeleton goes. <laughs> I said guys one <laughs> okay one skeleton does go down yeah that is proper English it just sounds weird when you think about it ooh and these murlocs gonna get caught out here this isn't looking very well for the undead player meanwhile we got a shadow hunter coming in as the second hero choice Sometimes against undead, you'll see a tar and chieftain second, but it looks like he wants to stick with the shadow hunter. Meanwhile, the undead is taken up to tier three, and we most likely will see a lich eventually. As if you're going up to tier three, you're gonna get that orb of corruption, and the lich is just the perfect hero for that orb. And that's nice. Melee heroes aren't really the greatest with that orb. You definitely want a lich. And it looks like we're going to have a slaughterhouse come in. Meanwhile, the orc's choice attack is a bestiary. Just one so far, not another. Meanwhile, Blade Master sold his TP. Mm, surprised he's not getting himself boots of speed. And the undead player is going to decide to creep out this mercenary camp. Come on, every Blade Master needs a boots of speed. I guess he's waiting to see if the Ogre Mauler drop it. Sometimes they do that. Sentry wards, though. Not exactly. Why did you not get your boots? Blade Master needs their boots. Do you know how fast they go in Woodwalk? Oh, we gonna get a creep jack? I don't know. Mm, no, they're dead. Well, there's the boots of speed. Death Knight got his. All right, Blade Master gonna come in. It's gonna focus down that Death Knight. Dust of appearance going down so the undead can see him. Hex going down the Death Knight. So the Shadowhunters over here. Death Knight getting really low, and then. Ugh. Yeah, he's gonna have TP away. One fiend will go down. Whoa. And there's the lich. Meanwhile, we got obsidian statues coming in. Alright. Orcs teching up the tier 3. Getting his cut so we might see, um... Actually, never mind. I forgot. Against undead, you do go tier 3. So you can get that orb of lightning to help focus down the destroyer. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've casted an orc versus undead. Meanwhile, all these skeletal minions going on a death order here. Two of them won't even make it. And we got the Kodo. Keep an eye out. See if he gets himself a snack. Meanwhile, the Blade Master's in a good position. He does have a sentry ward here, so he can see the undead base. Lich getting himself his orb of corruption because. Pretty much if it wasn't for the orb, I don't think Glitch would be that popular. He, he's still a good hero, but with that orb, he's just like, ugh. He's just, he's just better, man. A town is under siege. Skeletons doing a little bit of poking and prodding here and there. Meanwhile, that's not something you want to walk into as an undead player. That's quite a bit of grunt. Speed scroll being used here. Coil saving the uh, Lich. This doesn't look like a good fight for the undead at all. Frost Shield is being used. Frost Shield is pretty nice and going against Orc. Death Knight getting a bit of the old focus. He is getting a little low. Purge in the wrong time. Coil killing the Kodo. Oh, what the Death Knight? He does have a TP. Why do you know he's leave without a TP? Oh, these fiends. Long range coil gonna save him again. Death Knight doesn't have any more coils. Oh, one fiend goes down. God, that's stressful. When I play solo, I play undead. And I always tell myself, don't forget the TP. Which does get level 2. Oh, another hex going down. Frost Nova again. The Shadow Hunter does go down from this. And the Blade Master is going to be forced to back off here. Holy shnikes. I know pro players tend to not like TPs on them, but in situations like that, you just really need a TP.
another Kodo. Is he gonna run in there and get himself a snack? I heard he's pretty hungry for some spiders. Ooh, Death Knight gonna get focused again. Kodo does get himself a nice snack. Will that snack agree with his stomach? So far, I don't think so. He is, he is gonna speed scroll away, that old Kodo speed scroll trick. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter is back out. His shop won't last very long. Blade Master gonna try to buy whatever he can off of it before it goes down. Hey, all right, get himself what a little spy. Oh, the shop stays up. Hex went down on some. I don't know what it went down. Dark Ranger is gonna be the third hero choice for the undead player. Uh, Shadow, uh, 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 hold on. Let me refigure right here. Dark Ranger went for silence first. And it is stopping that Blade Master from. I'd kill that shop. He's just buying stuff after stuff with this. Uh. As soon as I get a moment to check here, I'll see what the food supply is looking like. As one fiend does go down, Shadow Hunter does get level 2, does get that healing wave. That's not a good day for me, cool. Coil, looks like that snack did not agree with him as the Lich. Something hit level something. It's just a very sloppy cast. Ooh, that, that Blade Master does not want to go. Alright, let me check really quick. Uh, 44 food for the undead versus 32 for the orc. So, undead is ahead on supply. It looks like he's getting more grunts and kodos. No raiders. Not yet, anyway. Is currently level 3 Death Knight, level 2 Lich, level 1 Dark Ranger versus level 3 Blade Master and a level 2 Shadow Hunter. Both players assigned to creep, Echo Isles. Not really too many creeping spots. It's not as big as like Twisted Meadows or Turtle Rock or something. And it looks like the Tarn Chieftain's gonna be the third hero choice for our Orc player. A pink Tarn Chieftain. Now that's what I call a fabulous cow. You gonna get your boots to speed now? What is with him and not liking boots of speed? Whoa, apparently a lot of pausing going on here. Meanwhile, Orc gonna clear out this expansion spot. Might get himself an expansion in the future. Gloves a haste being dropped. That's actually a pretty good item because the Blade Master will be focusing down the destroyers. That is the sole purpose of the Blade Master at this point in the game, is the freaking just right click the destroyer. Undead player is gonna come in here. Silence is going down. Lich getting focused a bit. That Blade Master is doing quite a bit of damage, plus 31 damage. Holy crap. Coil gets a Kodo. And the Blade Master is gonna win walk away from this. Uh, current upgrades are looking like uh, none for the undead and none for the work. Ooh, we got a creep jack. Not kind of, but it's still annoying. One obsidian statue goes down. Silence going down to Blade Master. Ooh, run, boy, run. Alright, Tarn Chieftain's out. He did not go for um, Endurance Arrow first. I believe... I'm, well, let's place our bets here, folks. I say he went for Stomp. I say Stomp. Let's see if it was Stomp or Shockwave. I'm gonna say Stomp. Alright, Fiend's gonna get focused down here. Will it get coiled? Nope. Blade Master gonna one walk away here. Alright, what was it? What was it? Oh, well, we're not going to find out as the Tarn Chieftain's been silent. Speed scroll going down by the Orc player. Dust of Appearance going down by the Undead. Kodo got himself a snack. A big snack by the looks of it. Alright, Death Knight getting very low in health here. Ooh, da -da -da. He's going to take the Greater Healing Pot he picked up. Healing Wave going down. Oh, and it was Stomp. And the Lich goes down. There's so much I can't talk so fast. All these fiends are going to burrow. I don't think he has any more Sentry Wards left. Or dust. Oi. So much action was happening so fast. My voice can only go so fast. 
In case you missed it, the Lich died, the Tyrant Chieftain went for Stomp, and there's a couple fiends hiding here until the Orc picks up some dust, which he's going to go. Oh, smart move by the undead player. He bought all the dust. Now there's no dust left, so those fiends live just a little while longer. More statues, more fiends, Lich getting resurrected. Resurrected. It's been a long day. Ooh, Fiend's trying to unburrow here. One's gonna get hexed and taken down. Will these two guys get away? I don't know. That Blade Master's gonna get him from the front. And wham! Oh, well, oh, no, come on. Wham! Come on, there we go. There's the wham. Alright, one is gonna burrow down. Oh, but the Blade Master! Ah! It's a marketplace and you can buy, like, items and stuff. I guess he picked up Century Wars. Very smart by the work player. Alright, one is going to get hexed. Death Knight is going to coil it, but that purge keeping him slow. He has another sentry ward, and he's going to put it down. Yee. I wish I could see what stuff if I, like, clicked it, but I can't. Okay, uh, we're at 43 food for the undead. 42 for the orc, and it looks like the orc is going to get himself an expansion. Expansions. That means the game is gonna keep on keeping on. There's the dust. Now they knows Burrows in play. He's gonna pick himself up some dust. We're starting to run out of places to creep. There's only three spots. Oh, fort. That one's tangling big crap, but. Mm. Are under dust of appearance being used by the Death Knight, I believe. No Blade Master around. The destroyer is going to suck up all the mana from the obscene statue, and that statue is going to turn into a destroyer. And when a destroyer has mana, his attacks do AoE damage, so it's pretty helpful to have mana on him. The one thing about destroyers is uh, their, their mana is constantly drained. And if you have an obsidian statue t telling you to give mana, he'll keep giving mana to the destroyer. And that just drains the statue's mana. Meanwhile, looks like we're going to have some bats be used here. So they can justify the means right onto the destroyer. Uh, the hero levels. Um, we're at level 3 for the Death Knight, level 3 for the Lich, level 2 for the Dark Ranger, versus a level 3 Shadow Hunter, level 2 Tarn Chieftain, and a level 4 Blade Master. Alright, Undead Player is going to find this expansion. Will he be able to cancel it? That's the question. Ooh, Bat getting a bit of the old Undead Nuke. There's still one Bat left, but that is not enough to take down those Destroyers. And it looks like this expansion will be cancelled. Peon's going to run and hide in the gold mine, but that gold mine just spits him to his death. You cannot hide in here, said the gold mine. You have no right to be in here. Uh, this spot hasn't been crap. Where's, where's the blade master going? All right, looks like we're gonna have a creep, Jack. I haven't been able to say that in a while. Here we go. We're gonna come in from behind. If you're new to Warcraft 3 and wondering what a creep Jack is, it's pretty much this. As silence goes down, TC getting focused really hard here. Back boy, back. I guess you could say that bull got sent to the slaughter. <laughs> uh, healing wave going down. Hex under Death Knight. Shadow Hunter hiding in the back here, but he's getting to his dead end. Back getting a nice detonation down. Shadow Hunter's keeping himself alive with his own healing spell, but I don't know how long it lasts. Does use invulnerability pot. Dust of appearance going down into Blade Master. Blade Master's going down. How many more healing waves he got? I heard this. Ooh, Dark Ranger went down. Kodo does not have himself a snack, and it looks like the undead's gonna see people. Can he get the Shadow Hunter? Oh! Once again, I'm sorry, headphone users. Ah! Oh. Uh, that is an unlucky day for that troll. Blade Master getting level 5. That Blade Master is just getting beastie. After that fight, we're at 40 supply for the undead versus 34 for the orc. Oof. Since I know some people, aka no one who's new to Warcraft 3 would be watching this, but I just feel like talking. A creep jack is when someone's creeping and your opponent attacks you while you're creeping or steals the item. 
It is very annoying, and it is a great way to catch a lead in the game, as the Shadow Hunter is going to be resurrected through the Neutral Hero Tavern. And that orc is going to try this expansion again. Now, if you're a map hacker, one, uninstall the game. Two, you probably know a lot about creepjacking. That's all I'm going to say about that. As it looks like the TC is going to be resurrected the old-fashioned way. I didn't notice he got down. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I made the... I made the slaughter joke, and I'm still proud of myself for that. Get it? Cause he's a cow, and cows get sent to us. Ah, oh, you guys are you guys are just you just don't appreciate what Fendus does for you. As it looks like the Dark Ranger's back. If I could click on her. A player's forces are under attack. All right, so the skeleton just scattered out for the undead. He now knows that this expansion is going to be put up again. Blade Master gonna wind walk in here. That is level three wind walk, no level two wind walk. Forgot critical strike, then the level three wind walk. Ooh, looks like he's gonna focus down to sitting in the statue, but it will run away in time. Death Knight does have one charge of dust left. Will he use it? Coil going down that destroyer. Blade Master keeping tabs of this army. That is a lot of destroyers. How many bats you got? Looks like Blade Master's trying to focus. How many bats you got? There's one. I don't see any more. We got more bats coming in, though. Bats are pretty cheap. I mean, they're not going to make a unit that basically kills itself cost like 300 gold. That'd be, that'd be pretty useless. So if the undead micro see destroyers, well... Oh, web! That's going to be very nice against bats. As Stomp does go down... All these destroyers have mana, so their attacks do quite a bit as Undead Nuke goes down to that grunt. I heard a fiend go down. Alright, Bat is... I don't know what happened to Bat. I think he got webbed again. He did. Blade Master needs to focus down these destroyers. It looks like he's going for the Obsidian Statues a little more as the Tarn Chieftain levels up. That is not level 5. That's level 3. Alright, one Bat's going to detonate on the destroyer. Healing Wave going down from the Shadow Hunter. Alright, Blade Master gonna use invulnerability pot. As these destroyers are getting focused down. Death Knight's gonna have one more coil, but it w just was in time. Can he use it again? Oh, back coming in from behind. Use your coils. It costs 75 mana. There you go. That destroyer could have been saved. Orc has like no army left. Alright, one bat's gonna get in. Will he get the detonation? Why is he there? There we go. One more destroyer goes down. Stomp going down. And the undead has lost all of his destroyers. This expansion is still technically up. It's currently 36 pie for the orc versus 34 for the undead. Ooh. Neither player has an army. These have been pretty pure micro fights here. It's not like free for all or StarCraft where you just have a ton of units coming at each other. 1v1 on Warcraft 3 is all about the micro, baby. It is all about that done year damn night micro. Alright. The undead realizes he's running out of gold, so he's going to unsummon all the buildings he doesn't need anymore. And hopefully get enough gold for a gold mine. If uh, well, unless you spend it on stuff. See, I don't understand why they keep spending their money. Just unsummon stuff until you have enough for another gold mine, and puppy guard the gold mine. But there's a reason I'm not as good as some of these players. But I like working with my strategy, and my strategy keeps the game going on longer. That bat scouting around, seeing if he could catch a destroyer off guard. Alright, and the orc looks like he wants to end this. He does have a little bit more of an army, but as we all know, pushing into an undead base is quite annoying. Undead going to have the acolytes in the army, so that means he is confident that this game will be ended. Meaning, he feels like he doesn't need to have another gold mine but that blade master if he picks off that obscene statue that's 200 gold down the drain 
And it looks like it is. Blade Master got silence, but his wind walk went off before the silence. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Undead definitely has more of an army. But these Blade Master is sniping off all these obsidian statues as another silence goes off. Which hits level four as the one bat goes down before it could go off. Did Dakota get a snack? Oh nope. Looks like that's gonna be one hungry Koto. As he does get Novid. And this orc army's getting picked off, but that's not the only thing getting picked off. This blade master is doing a very nice job. A player's forces are under attack. Looks like one fiend's gonna get picked off. He can he can burrow though, and it looks like he will. I don't think the orc has any dust on him. Where's that? Where's that cow? Moo. Where's Mr. Moo? Come on, where's the Tarn Chieftain? I, I feel like he's missing. I feel like he shouldn't be dead. I feel like he died and I missed it. Okay. I wonder... How well, that's just bad casting by me. Alright, Undead is going to poke into this expansion. Peon's going to get focused down. That fiend is going to burrow just in time. Orc has no point of detection. That bat kills the last destroyer. No more statues to turn into destroyers. Ooh. And these... Burrowed Fiend Micro, apparently. Ooh! Blade Master? Is this gonna use an invulnerability pot? So he did get a face full of nuke. And that one tower is gonna kill that Fiend. Healing Wave goes down on the army. Healing Salve, Frost Nova, Hex on the Death Knight. Oh, that Lich, he's eyeballing that Blade Master. He wants it. Oh, he's blocking up. He's doing the old block micro here, blocking up that Shadow Hunter. One fiend goes down. Was Dark Ritual? Oh, Lich has enough for a Frost Nova. Oh, Undead Nuke. Oh, Blade Master had enough for a Nova. Oh, Dust of Appearance. Oh, oh. I'm clapping. I'm sorry. I just, that's two kills the Lich guy with that long range shot. That shows you how powerful the Orb of Corruption is. And without the Blade Master, the Orc lost pretty much all of his DPS to that army he had. AKA, no. So Tarn Chieftain's back, still wondering how he died. And that Death Knight, Unholy Arla, he's faster than the Shadow Hunter, and the Shadow Hunter goes down. Yikes. Koto tried to get himself a snack, but the fiend burrowed too quickly. All right, Blade Master's gonna be picked up with Nutri Hero Tap. He has no mana for a wind walk though, so he's playing it risky. He does have invulnerability pies. The stomp goes down. The Death Knight. Dust of appearance gonna be used. Oh, and the Death Knight goes down. Tarn Chieftain is level four. Dark Ritual going on the fiend. The healing salves canceled. And this is still any man's game here. Will that grunt go down? Dark Ranger does have black arrows, so he's spawning more skeletal warriors. The grunt goes down, Dark Ritual on the skeleton. About to have enough mana for another Nova soon. Holy crap, this is any man's fight here. Undead doesn't even have enough gold to freaking replenish his Death Knight. But the Blade Master still has a uh, Blade Master. The Orc still has a gold mine here, and he's mining it, baby. So the longer this game goes on, the more of a lead the Orc will be in. Level three Dark Ranger, level four Lich versus level five Blade Master, level four Tarn Chief. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to say: if you creep. You get gold from killing creeps, but there's no more creeps left. That was those were the last ones. So there's like virtually no way the undead can get gold unless he sells items, and I think that's what he's gonna do. Oh, don't sell the orb. 
All right, he didn't sell the orb. All right, he just got enough to revive the blade mass, uh, Death Knight. And he unsummoned his necropolis. So those two ziggurats are his last buildings. Meaning if the orc killed him, the undead player will lose. All right, undead's gonna try one more time here. That tower's gonna be annoying. He's gonna have to focus that down. These peons quickly go into the burrow here. Nova going down on the Tarn Chieftain by Ming Grunt. Oh, stomp. Oh, the Death Knight might go down again. Does use an invulnerability pot. Grunt goes down. Another skeleton to this army. Quickly gets rich sacrificed. That sounds better. As he is using Frost Shield, adding more army to that Death Knight and slows any melee attacks on it. But that is a pretty nice defense. Both those skeletons go down. Alright, Orc's coming in from behind here. He does have a raider. He could ensnare the Death Knight and snipe it off, possibly. Oh, he wants to snipe that Death Knight. That Death Knight looks tasty, but I guess the Lich looks even more tasty. Oh, the Shadow Hunter came out and the Lich goes down and the Undead calls GG. So so beats Lucifer. Ha. If you <laughs> if you like this game, subscribe to my YouTube channel.